I feel like I'm sleeping with the enemy. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. I'm Mike. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal colour specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, we're going to be reviewing as well. We're going to be trying out and it's going to be my first impressions of the brand new Colour Fresh Colour Deposit Masks by Wella. I'm going to go through the formula. What are they? What do they do? And I'm going to try them out on my hair. So if you want to find out what those new Colour Fresh Masks by Wella are, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? Can you believe that I am reviewing products by Wella? And let me start by saying that I'm really excited about the Colour Depositing Mask Colour Fresh by Wella. And as we all know, it's actually been a trend this year that brands have brought out Colour Depositing Mask. And I did review the Moroccan Oil ones on my channel and I'm gonna link it I think above here or, or somewhere around here. Right, so let's get into the Colour Depositing Masks by Wella that are called Colour Fresh and Colour Fresh is actually a colour bomb direct dye that salons that do Wella use them on their clients and they're absolutely beautiful. Now I have not worked with Wella in years but Wella Ireland was actually really generous to provide me with the whole range of the Colour Depositing Masks. So what can I tell you about the Colour Depositing Masks? The Wella Colour Fresh Mask comes in 11 shades and it's divided into two groups. You have your naturals and you have your vibrant so obviously the naturals are for natural hair so that's your take-home service for anyone that wants to refresh their color or keep their color nice and fresh and revived and bold ones are obviously for people that want bold colors so let's say if you get blue in your hair and you're afraid that it's not gonna last and you don't want to use something like crazy color or one of those you can use something like a color depositing mask but what is the difference between let's say a crazy color and color depositing masks well first of all it is a mask so it's a conditioning mask it's not a direct dye so the pigmentation of it is slightly different and it is safe for home use you don't need to patch this and they're brilliant for anyone that wants to refresh their color revive their color or just add a bit of extra oomph to the hair. Now I think it's absolutely brilliant for people that are first time coloring their hair because there's no oxidant, there's no ammonia, you don't have to skin test. So if you have allergies or if you want to try out the hair color, they're brilliant. When it comes to the lasting of the color mask, well it all depends on the porosity of your hair. If your hair is a lot more porous, it will probably last longer in your hair. Now it all depends how often you wash your hair, but like that, it is a color refresher mask, it's not a hair color. You'll better understand this when I actually get into the formula and tell you what is what and what it actually does. So you guys, starting with the natural range. The first color fresh mask by Well I'm gonna be talking about is Pearl Blonde. Now I want to start by saying that all the seven masks that are in the natural range contain apricot and avocado oil for nourishment of the hair. So that is the formula behind in the color masks. But what is actually the Pearl Blonde and who is it perfect for? This mask is perfect for anyone with pre-lightened hair and it is brilliant for maintaining that platinum effect. So how I would explain this one is the Pearl Blonde is nearly like your ash base, blue base mask. So it is perfect for anyone that has either really, really light highlights and they just want to maintain it or if you're bleach up and you're quite white and you want to maintain that. You could use this once a week as a purple conditioner nearly. That's how I would believe this could be used. The next mask we're gonna be talking about is Lilac Frost. So Lilac Frost, comparing to your Pearl Blonde, is more on the mauvier side. It is an anti-yellow formula, so it's gonna neutralize any bit of yellowness, but it has that purpley mauvey tinge. So looking at my hair, right, if I was using one of those, it would be probably brilliant for my hair because it would just neutralize any bit of yellow in my hair. And they're meant to be brilliant as toners alone. So if you're looking for a home toner, this mask will be absolutely brilliant and it's nearly like a purple shampoo in a conditioner. The next color we're going to be talking about is Golden Gloss. And as the name says, this is brilliant for golden blonde. So any type of light blondes with golden reflexes or if anyone has actually really light balayage and likes that golden tone, this will be brilliant for the hair. So it is a lot more warmer, there's more of a honey tone. So comparing to let's say those three, those will be your, like your platinum and white blondes and then you have your warmer golden blonde so for more of a natural finish this one will be absolutely absolutely brilliant so if you like that warm golden -y tone this one is fabulous now i'm not saying that necessarily for highlighter blondes if you're a natural blonde and you have golden reflexes and you just want to refresh that 
that would be absolutely brilliant. Or if your hair is really, really blonde and you want to tone it down and add a bit more warmth, that would be absolutely brilliant as well. Moving on, you guys, the next Color Fresh mask by Well I'm gonna be talking about is Caramel Glaze. So Caramel Glaze, as the name states, it's that beautiful caramelly glaze color and it is brilliant for medium blondes, light blondes and balayage clients that love that caramelly toffee effect to the hair. Now I think this is absolutely brilliant because loads of balayage clients leave the salon and they tend to use purple shampoo and I mean unless your hair is really really light purple shampoo will not do anything. So something like this caramelly glaze color that you want that nice caramelly toffee soft finish I mean, this could be absolutely, absolutely stunning. Moving on to brunettes, and the next color fresh mask is Chocolate Touch. So this is for all types of brunettes. This is gonna give you a beautiful chocolatey tone to your hair. It's not necessarily for anyone that has hair color in their hair. If you're just a natural brunette and just want to enhance the color at shine, I think this would be absolutely brilliant. That's what you want, it's like color bomb that you can just bring home and you know it's good and it's gonna work. But also if you're a brunette and you just find that your ends are starting to fade, this color deposit mask would be absolutely brilliant for you. The last second tone from the natural range is Copper Glow. And I am super excited about Copper Glow because I nearly find that the coppers are forgotten about. Because first of all, copper colors do fade very quickly comparing to let's say brunettes or other colors, so coppers do fade. And coppers nearly need that refresher toner in between their color. And let's say you're not your color for another two weeks and it just looks really faded. That would be absolutely brilliant to put it into your hair and it's just gonna give that nice, beautiful, revived looking copper color to your hair. And the last tone from the natural range of Color Fresh Mask by Wella is Rose Glaze. And when I seen this color, I was actually really, really excited because it's that nice, beautiful, rosy color and it's very, very versatile. You can use it on pre-lightened hair to get that nice, rosy color. You can use that on light blondes, on brunettes. Depending on the color you're looking for, this is a quite playful and nice color. So even if you're like a mahogany brown, this would be absolutely brilliant. Or if you just want more of that softer rosy tone to your hair, this would be absolutely, absolutely stunning. Right, you guys, so that was the natural range. And like I said, it's absolutely brilliant. They're color refresher masks. They're gonna refresh your color. Or if you're a first time color in person, they're a good way of trying out the color. Or if you just want to add a bit of shine and tone to your hair, they're absolutely, absolutely brilliant. And we're gonna try them out on my hair today and see how they'll look. Right, moving on to the bald range, and I'm not gonna do one by one in bald range because there is no point, really. The bald range contains Aragon oil, and that's the formula within this product, and it's gonna nourish their hair. So you guys, let me introduce you to four shades in the bold range. Red, mint, pink, and blue. Oh my God, you guys, they're so, so colorful. Now, I am surprised that the red one is in the bold range, but I mean, it is red, so all of those masks will work the best on pre-lightened hair. So like that, when you see my blonde bit, they will be probably absolutely brilliant. If your hair is brunette, you're probably not gonna get much result. So if you're looking at the blue, the blue over pre-lightened hair is just gonna give you that beautiful blue result. And like that, because it's a conditioning mask, it's not gonna stain your hair as much as a direct dye would. So it's nearly a safer option if you're looking for a quick and easy change to your hair. The mint, I mean mint green hair, I was living for it years ago and I don't think it's actually a bad idea and you can really, really play around with the mint. Obviously we have pink and red and like that, pink would be amazing for blondes and I mean if you want that blushed pink blonde and you're highlighted and you just want a bit of fun for the weekend, I mean, that would be absolutely brilliant. And red, now I think red could be used on redheads. If you're like a natural redhead or if you have naturally red hair and you're just looking to enhance it and keep the color, this will be actually brilliant because like that red does fade just like copper. And if you like the intensity of red, why not, you could use this on your hair and it would be absolutely brilliant. Now you guys, so how do you use the Color Fresh Mask by Wella? First of all, it is applied to washed and towel dried hair and it is a conditioner, so you just rinse it off and your hair is conditioned at the same time. Now you can apply it to dry hair, but I don't know why you would apply it to dry hair. First of all, you'll use a lot more product when you're applying it to dry hair because when your hair is wet, the product applies a lot easier to wet hair, so it's gonna be easier for you to do it yourself as well, you're gonna use less product. But I mean, you could put it on dry hair, you'll probably just get more of an intenser result, but I mean, if you're gonna put it on to dry hair, 
you'll have to shampoo it. So you're kind of defeating the purpose of it. Then you leave the mask for up to 10 minutes, you rinse it and voila, your hair is refreshed. So we're gonna try it out today. Now, what am I gonna do with my hair? Now, a few options. Obviously, I could go chocolate brown and that's what I'm gonna do on my brown hair and see how it actually refreshes my brunette hair. I could also use the rose blaze and see what it does to my hair. And then when it comes to my blonde piece, I could go with something like Lilac Frost to just freshen up my blonde, neutralize it and clean it up. But for today's film, I think I might go bit out. Now, my color is due to be done next week, so I'm gonna do it next week anyway. So let's play around and I might actually put the mint in it. Now, I am a bit worried about the mint because my hair is slightly bit yellower and I mean, it can go bit greeny but I mean my color is due to be done next week anyway so I'm gonna take out the mint and it'd be actually very interesting to see how the mint rinses out out of my hair because as we all know greens and blues are very hard to get out of your hair but I mean Wella says that it's gonna rinse out so it's gonna rinse out so you guys I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna shampoo my hair twice we're gonna come back we're gonna apply the color deposit mask by Wella so you guys see you in few right you guys now before you apply it make sure you put on like an old t-shirt on a dark t-shirt because those masks do contain pigments so they might actually stay in your clothes if anything drops on them but if that was me and I was just refreshing my all-over brunette or all-over copper or blonde I'll just wash my hair in the shower and apply it that way. Like I wouldn't see the need of just washing my hair and applying it. Right, so just with my hair, because it is the way it is, I need to section off first. So I'm just gonna separate the blonde bit from the brunette. Now I would say if you have two tones in your hair, and I'd say now many people do, but just be careful because like the brunette one will stain the blonde or the copper one would stain the blonde. Right, so I'm gonna put off some gloves because obviously we need to protect our hands. The first color I'm gonna use is gonna be the chocolate touch. So let me just open this and actually see how it looks because we haven't opened it and we haven't smelt it. The product smells really nice. Now let me just decant it onto my hand and see the pigmentation. Okay, so it's a nice brunette tone. Do you know what it actually smells like? It actually smells like Play-Doh. I don't know, that's just the smell, that's just the smell I get from it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it nicely and just brush it through my hair. And like that, you don't need to be too accurate with it because it is a conditioner, it's not a hair color. So like that, just work that onto my hair. I am actually really excited to see what that chocolate touch is actually gonna do to my brunette because it could be just nice as a color itself. Like you don't need to color yourself to use the mask. If you're just not happy with your natural hair color, let's say you have that mousy brown hair color, you could use one of those and it would be perfect. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my gloves now because obviously if I'm gonna put the mint on those gloves, it's just gonna be a minty brownie color. Ugh, rotten. So I'm just gonna put on a fresh pair of gloves and we're gonna put the mint in the front. Right, so let's take the mint. Let's see if this smells like Play-Doh and open it up. Hmm. Oh, so it is nice and minty. Now they did say that some of them, okay, this one doesn't smell like Play-Doh. I think it was just the other one that smelled like Play-Doh. They did say that some of them do look rather dark, especially the blonde ones. I think it was the lilac frost, it meant to look really, really dark, but the minute you rinse it is not, and same with the rose blaze. Right, so, let's tackle this. Oh yeah, so you can see that nice minty tone in my hair already. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna comb that through, just to make sure it's evenly spread throughout, through the blonde bit. This is actually gonna be really interesting to see if the mint is gonna come out on my hair. I think it should, like even if I'm scraping that, you can see it's getting that nice minty color ready. Right, you guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that on for 10 minutes. We're gonna rinse it off, we're gonna come back, we're gonna look at it when it's wet, and we're gonna blow dry my hair. So you guys, see you in 10. And my hair is washed, so what can I tell you about the whole experience now? 
First of all, the water did run dark when I was rinsing it, obviously, because, I mean, the chocolate brown is a chocolatey color. But I am surprised my hair does not feel way down. When you think of a mask, you think something that's quite heavy and rich, but my hair actually feels grand. Now, my first impressions from it when my hair is wet, the brown looks really brown, so it definitely worked. It just looks a lot more richer and a lot more chocolatey. Now, when I'm looking at the mint green, it is mint green. It is mint green. So I am really excited to dry it and see how it looks. Right, you guys, I'm gonna take my hair dryer and I'm gonna dry off my hair and I'll see you in a minute. Right, you guys, so my hair is dried. So what can I tell you? First of all, let's have a look at the brunette side. And my brunette color does look a lot more richer and fresher. Like there's a lovely shine. And I definitely think that the chocolate touch worked and give my hair that nice brunette chocolatey tone to my hair and just refreshed my color. When I'm looking at the mint green, now my, my hair is definitely mint green, you can definitely see it. It's a lot more mint green where my bleach was fresher, so just true here, and the ends are just looking a bit more greeny, which is totally acceptable. But I am surprised because my hair does feel really natural and soft and shiny, but it did not weigh down my hair. So I think the formula of this product is really good and overall I am happy with it. I will definitely try out the lilac frost when I'm doing my blonde bit next time and I might actually use it as a toner and see how it works out. In conclusion, when it comes to Color Fresh Deposit Masks by Wella, I think they're brilliant, they're lovely toners at home and clients are always looking for toners at home so I think this is a big hit because we have nice variety of colors. We have our vibrance and we have our blonde and we have our coppers, our roses and brunettes and I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's also good for first time coloring people or people that want to just play with color and change their hair color a bit. And I mean the mint green is actually really nice. Now, I don't think it would be my first choice but for today's film I definitely wanted to do something different. Anyways guys, thank you for watching today's film. I hope you found this film rather interesting, helpful and useful. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my other social media. And of course you guys, please, please, please take care. Bye.